All right, so before we put the can onto the cylinder head, I'll just uh, use an oil can and just put a dollop of oil on each of the uh, cam, ca cam caps. Okay, and... Um, We'll just put the camshaft in, loosely, just drop it in there, okay, so basically just drop in, okay, put a dollop of oil over there, and as I said, you know, your tax cover will basically double as a, um, you know, as uh, they have the cam caps built into the tappet covers, but what we have to do, As it does not use a gasket on the tappet cover, we go to our trusty uh, gasket maker. Okay, just put a nice even form of gasket maker on the tappet cover. Okay, before we put the tappet cover on. So, just a nice even form of a gasket maker. Make sure that you get it all the way around, that there's no empty spots because you don't want the oil to come oozing out of there when the engine is running. Okay, so we'll just make sure that we've got enough gasket sealer or maker, okay, on the entire surface that makes contact with the cylinder head, okay, nicely around so that we do not have any leaks. When we have that, we basically just loosely fit. Now, here's a tick, just make sure that your your cam seal is in place, okay? Is in the proper place, okay? Make sure that it is in the proper place. So, we'll put our tap cover over, like so. And now we can put all our bolts in, okay? There's two, four, six, eight, ten, uh, twelve, fourteen bolts. So just uh, before we go, turn your cam more or less to where we need it to be, okay? We basically want the two uh, cam uh, lobes to face up on number one cylinder because we have now turned our, 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 our um, crankshaft, we've turned it to top dead center. I'll get into more detail a little later, but just so that we can get this cam uh, cover on, okay, the stepped cover on. So just sort of uh, turn the camshaft uh, more or less where the two uh, lobes are facing upward. So we put our tappet cover on like that. Make sure that that seal is nicely in position. Okay, and then we'll put our bolts on. And what I would suggest here is when you tighten these bolts, start in the center and work your way out because this is a camshaft which we are tightening down. And uh, we don't want the camshaft uh, to bend too much because they are very rigid and I have had occasion where a camshaft has actually snapped. Okay, um, so we just want to make sure that that does not happen. Go ahead and tighten as I say. I'll tighten from the center. Okay, not all the way. I'll just turn it until it goes against. Alright, like that, against, and then work my way outwards. Okay, with uh, just tightening them up a little bit one now, you know, a few at a time. And I'll get back to you when I've got this tappet cover all tightened down. Okay, so the first step in um, Timing the motor here is the crank. We want to get the crank top dead center. So what I normally do is I put something into the into the um, number one cylinder, okay, with the spark plug out. I turn it until I can feel it just going down, and I turn it back till it comes up, and it's just going down. So that's basically top dead center. We want to get a top dead center. Okay. Another way of checking for top dead center, you can use a torch and shine the torch down. Um, in the bottom there. All right, you now need a nice size 19 spanner to turn the crank if you need it to. Okay, so now we are going to go to the camshaft. The camshaft is very simple. Um, 
as you can clearly see, the cam has got a, a little indent uh, knocked into it over there, a mark knocked into it, and here is a pointer that's on, on the backing cover. So we need to use a 16 uh, uh, spanner, and we just turn and line those two marks up. Okay, when that indent and that pointer is lined up, that means that the cam, now remember when we put on the, 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 the tappet cover gasket, we turn the cam more or less to the top. So it was just a very fine adjustment that we had to do there. Okay, so what I normally do is I take my trusty secret weapon, which is a piece of chalk, once again, and I'll just put uh, two uh, marks on, uh, you know, with a, with a crankshaft uh, sort of lines up. I put a chalk mark on one of the teeth and a chalk mark on a little area that lines up with that tooth. Okay, so that when I do put the cam belt on, um, I've got that as a reference to make sure that it's still top dead center. So now I will feed the, uh, the, uh, the cam belt on, show you how to do that and how to uh, adjust the cam belt properly. Okay, so we'll feed the cam belt in from the bottom. Uh, we put it onto the uh, gear. Uh, we put, put it over the adjuster, okay, um, over the water pump. Okay, then we'll bring it up and we feed it on from the crankshaft side, from uh, the exhaust manifold side. We'll feed the belt on nicely, okay, until you can see all the teeth are nicely there. And then, of course, all the play should be on the adjuster side. Okay. Okay, so once we've got the, uh, the belt routed, we need to adjust. Here's a, here's a Allen key. I use a size 6 Allen key. Here's an Allen key. Uh, uh, um, little spanner on the uh, Allen key uh, stamped onto the adjuster. So we'll turn the adjuster clockwise, okay, with a with the Allen key. Watch the pointer. And you can see if when the pointer goes into the cleft over there, when it's lined up, that is the tension that you want on your belt. Okay, so now we will turn, um, we will tighten up the lock, which is a size 13 bolt. We'll tighten up uh, that bolt and make sure that the adjuster now cannot turn okay cannot turn loose looking at the pointer okay the pointer has got to be in, in in the middle of the groove over there okay um, let's get some light up you can see that when I tightened it it went a little over the groove so now we got to loosen it up again a little bit okay until the pointer just goes and lines up with the groove Okay, you don't want to over tighten your belt, otherwise you'll have a whining sound on the belt and you'll put the belt under, under pressure. Okay, so... So we've got to have the, the, the groove, um, you know, the pointer facing opposite the groove. Okay, so that is how you time um, uh, this, this engine and how you adjust the tension on the cam belt. Okay, once we've got our uh, tension on the uh, um, set on our camshaft, we need to turn our crankshaft two rotations, which will allow the camshaft to turn one rotation because you can see the different sizes in the gears. This is a bigger gear, that's a smaller gear. So that gear has to turn twice, two revolutions of 360 degrees, which will give the camshaft one revolution of 360 degrees. So without further ado, I will take my uh, 19 spanner and I will turn the camshaft to 360 degree rotations, okay? So that um, we can check, we need to check the timing marks to make sure that uh, they are still in place after the rotations, okay? So that's uh, one turn on the crank. We go for the second one round. Okay, we line it up. We take it back to top dead center. And then we've got to check that everything lines up and make sure that our uh, tension on our belt is 100%. Okay, there we're coming up. And now you can see the blue marks on the crank in position still. Okay, that's lined up. We'll come to the cam. You will see that the camshaft is basically um, also lining up, okay? Um, we just got to make finer, finer adjustments, get that top dead center 100%. And as you can see, the indent, okay? The indent is right opposite the pointer. So, our car is still timed properly, so let's check the pointer on the, uh, on the, on the adjuster and make sure that, yeah, that pointer is still in position, 
All right, so that means that we have the proper tension on the cam belt, and that is how you time the engine on this um, Polo, um, on this Volkswagen Polo. Okay, so now we go, all that we need to do is put in water, put in clean oil, put the front covers on, and we can start this vehicle. All right, I'll get back to you once we've got that ready to go. Okay, so there we are, Volkswagen Polo. Okay, cylinder in the key. Brand new valves, new timing belt, new timing belt tensioner, uh, clean oil, fresh filter, and she's purring nicely. Okay, car is revving up nicely. No warning lights on the dashboard. Everything 100%.